We're a mile above sea level, which means we must be in Denver for this AFC matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Denver Broncos. These two coaches, they've been in the news all week long. People have talked about their matchup. These two great minds, successful coaches going at it today. Yeah, and you know what? Everybody talks about the players all the time. We do not give enough credit to the coaches because it takes great coaching to give the players a chance to make the plays on the field that win the games. And we see it so many times. These guys will be ready for any situation that comes up, and they have great experience to rely on. Come to the line and it's first down. Johnson's gonna take it from the gun. Goes deep to AJ Green, but they can't connect. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. You gotta wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands, and once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play! This will be second down. Throws the pass. That's a conversion, the first of the day. Give him a new set of downs. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. Bengals line up in the pistol offense. They go to the right side. The defense stands up early and stops the run cold. Good job that time. You said it, Jim, by the defense. They attacked the offensive line, and there was nowhere for the running back to run the football. Flex round! Flex round! After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. He'll go left. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. That's a nice run that time by the offense, picking up those yards. And any time you gain more than three yards on a running play in the National Football League, it is deemed successful. play was a run third down coming up he's wide open for the grab now they take the football onto the opponent side of the field it's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes that's what did it that time look at the quarterback nice fake defense Reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. First and ten to the ground here. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. And the quarterback is taken down. The offensive line did a terrible job that time reacting to the blitz by the defense. They let the defenders come free, and they sack the quarterback. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Johnson's back in shotgun formation. Looks to his left. That ball was going the other way. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception.
Welkers lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Moreno's hand at the football. Harrison able to run down the ball carrier. What a nice run by the running back. Picks up big yards, and he did everything that time. He picked the proper hole, gets through it, and shows that speed to get the long game. First down here after the run. Manning sells the play fake and looks downfield. Touchdown, Marco. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Add the extra point, the kick is good. Broncos ready to boot it down the field. And that return ends rather quietly, short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 16. down as they head to the line that reception picks up the first down sometimes they tell the receiver just to go long run a fly route run a nine route because that means straight ahead or a streak show the speed that you have and get it done johnson's dropping back to throw once again in on the stop the quarterbacks and receivers in this nfl now are so good it's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs that long game sets them up here on this play. Ball's going to be incomplete. The hit knocked the ball out. That's why you like defenders who are good punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Had it, but dropped it. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time, and it's a drop pass. The Bengals this time will go with two tight ends. Under fire on that throw. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. The Bengals come out. Two tight ends on the field. Looking across the middle, they fail to convert, and now a change of possession. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. Moreno lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Manning's got the football after the play fake. Intercepted. And here he goes. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did. They got the interception. First down here. Jones 
got the cool hands on a pass that had a lot of heat. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. Gains nine. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion, and there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there. Second down Ohio, now. Ohio, 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 Ohio. From the gun, eyeing that left side. Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. Good job by the cornerback, reading the wide receiver. He is all over him, and it makes it easy for him to swat down the throw by the QB. Ohio, Ohio, Let's see what they do Ohio, on this third down Ohio, situation. Ohio, Ohio. Running it like it's an option play. They bring him to the turf. Nice job that time by the offense, getting the first down Ohio, inside the Ohio. red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. Welcome back to this defensive showdown. They're able to move the chains after that last run. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver, but the defender did it that time. He hit him, that football came loose, incomplete pass. and goal from the six. Looking for a receiver. Touchdown, Cincinnati Bengals. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. The Bengals can tie it up with the point after. And it's a fake. Throws to the right. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but still they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It was a terrible decision. Now we'll find out that one point comes back to haunt them. Breaks free. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. is going to get set in the slot for this snap. He's brought to a halt. The defensive end has the outside runs. That's his assignment, and he did it well. Takes on the tackle, beats his rear end up pretty good. It makes a tackle on the running back. We've known Coach John Fox. We look at there on the sideline for a long, long time. His days as an assistant. His days as the head coach of the Carolina Panthers. who took the Panthers to a Super Bowl one year. And now out here in Denver, where he's had great success. And having to do it different ways. First with the Tim Tebow team, where they had to kind of change the offense to suit him. And, of course, Peyton Manning coming to the Broncos in 2012. Well, I did wonder when Peyton Manning was signed by the Denver Broncos, I said, man, how's this going to work out with a defensive coach like John Fox? Uh, they both answered that question very well, and John Fox, I think, really enjoyed having a quarterback run the show, and it, it, it all showed in a 13-3 record. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That picks up seven. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Moreno's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. 
Second and three. Play action. Manning uncorks a long pass. Six in the books. Not many quarterbacks in this league can throw that type of pass. Throw it high in the air, far down the field, and have it just drop in there right on the target. Beautiful throw for the touchdown. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. And he fails to get out to the 20, and he is smacked down at the 15-yard line. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Challenging the defenders to the right side. No one's going to get him now. The 30, the 20, the 10. Awesome job by the defense. That time they were really surprised by the play call. The receiver gets behind the defense, but the speed of the defensive back able to make up those yards and tackles him from behind. That reception gave them the first down. First and goal to go. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone and then almost gets picked off by the defense. That leads us to second down. Throwing now to his left. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Tight ends are so valuable down on the goal line. They're eight. Able to maneuver inside. Easy to get defenders to run into each other uh, to get open to score. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on it. So, put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got it in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Peyton Manning under center. First and ten, play fake here, going deep, looking for Demarius Thomas. And that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. They call that the moment of truth. It's a beautiful throw down the field, but the defensive back, he waits until it's time to make that jump. He defends the pass. What a good job by the defensive back. Second down coming up. Ball is snapped and the quarterback tosses it to the outside. And it's James Harrison who makes the tackle. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. It'll be third down. 
Manning still got the football after the play fake. Almost intercepted. And quarterbacks love to throw the football high and far down the field. That time, the quarterback doesn't do that, and he underthrows the receiver. are at the line of scrimmage and loading up that line with an extra tight end. Looking to the right side and throwing. And they'll turn it over on downs. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. They face first down. He'll fire it out to the left. A.J. Green with the catch. It's another name for the fly route, the go route. It's a streak. And that means they want you to be a blue streak, run as fast as you can, get by that defense, and make a big play. First down here. Here we go. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Oh, 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 oh. First and ten. They feed the running back. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. And now they have a good situation. Corners formation here for the defense. Going across the middle. It was batted away. Well, that pass is incomplete, Jim, but that's just a terrible job by the quarterback. When they're running the slant route, just throw it right at the stomach. After the incomplete pass, it's third down. Makes the catch. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stopped the offense that time. Ohio! 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 The offense lines up here. Throw to the left. What a catch. Touchdown. Tight ends are more valuable when you get close to the goal line because they can use their body and push off and get open that way to score touchdowns. Nice job that time by the tight end. The Bengals for the point after. Extra point is good. Bengals ready for action. The tackles made right around the 25-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Throws to the right, makes the grab, and he's tackled at the 30-yard line. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer, but these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. Second down and five. 
makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Moreno lined up in the backfield. Now first and ten. It's intercepted. What a terrible job by the quarterback. But nobody's open. Tries to force the pass, and look, what's it turn into? An interception. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Two tight ends. Ohio, 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 Ohio. Ohio, Ohio. The wide receiver. Shifting around in motion. He'll throw it over the middle. Interception. They got him down there. Nice job of the defense that time. In position. They read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Welkers, a receiver in the slot. First and ten. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Second down and ten. Loads it up. It's going deep. Pulls it in. What a Bronco. Touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. And the extra point is good. Matt Prater is ready to run up and kick this football. And he's across the 10, and that's about it. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. This will most likely be the final play before the half ends. First and ten. Up the middle. The Bengals are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. The jumbo set on the field. Second down and eight. Breaks free, has some space to work with. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. We'll switch sides and take a break as the first half comes to a close here in the Mile High City. Let's check in on the sidelines. Danielle Bellini is there. I got a chance to quickly speak with Ray Maluga during halftime. Tie game so far, and that's okay with him. He likes the added pressure being put on his defense. He believes they play better under pressure, and now there's two quarters left to make things happen. We'll see if they're able to make any plays, guys, back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Offense lines up here. First down and ten. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Wow, what a catch. 
when you play man-to-man -man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. The quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Quarterback flips it to the running back. Force it across for the touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. Awesome. Defense. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. Broncos ready to boot it down the field. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Offense lines up here. Second and 14. Throws the pass. He had no time to get set. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Flex round, flex round. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. The Bengals get a first down. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. Green lined up in the slot. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. First and ten. Looking across the middle, always aware of the change. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, do you? The way you hit it everywhere. But this offense, they're clicking. They're making plays. Let's see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down the field. He's scrambling now. Ball is out. The defense has the football. That was just a terrible job by the offensive player that time. Protect the football. No excuse for letting it uh, fumble the football in a situation like that. Now in first down. Fake. The defense gets the sack. Pressuring the quarterback. That's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time they blitz. It was quick. It was fast. And they get a sack on the quarterback. It's now second down. Halfway through the third quarter. Peyton Manning looking down the field, but it falls incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Offense lines up here.
The pass is off the mark, and that's a three and out. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The punter awaits the snap. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. You could put anybody in the football team back there and do what that punt returner did that time. That was a terrible job. Lined up in the pistol formation. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. First and ten. They give it to the running back. He's headed right. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground challenging the defenders to the right side the tackle was made oh the, we've got an injured player on the field always hard to guess what the injury is but and don't like to speculate but i think it's pretty apparent it's an upper body injury we'll let you know when we find out from the shotgun launches it down the field they can't connect. Uh, take no chances when the football is thrown in the end zone. Don't go for an interception sometimes. You can kick the ball up in the air. Hey, don't do that. Knock it down. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Reaches out and grabs it. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and, and, and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. Two tight ends. Third and seven. A takeaway. Gets past the first wave. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Bengals official. He confirmed it was a neck injury. The team is taking this very seriously, so they've immobilized his neck. And guys, they'll take him to the hospital for further observation. Peyton Manning, under center. First and ten, Moreno's got it on the handoff. And that's a gain of ten. Broncos go with two tight ends on this play. They need to get the playoff. Offense a little too slow, getting set at the line on that one. Play of game, offense. Still second down. Second down coming up. The play clock's running down. That is just a killer. Delay of game against the offense. Something that you can control. 
snap them the football before the play clock runs out. The quarterback's got to read the defense, make sure his guys are aligned, and also watch the play clock. After that penalty, it sets up second down and 10. Play clock's running down. 